there is a demand for professional lighting to support the desired atmospheres and often people want to create custom light shows for a specific event or application. Traditionally, full-size lighting consoles are used to create these lighting atmospheres. However, those consoles are usually very expensive and therefore not accessible for smaller associations. Thus, a decision was made to build a mini portable lighting console. This design describes a feature-rich, inexpensive, and portable lighting control method on a microcomputer and focuses on the DMX protocol with portability and protection for the on-the-go designer in mind. The market for this device is specialized and mostly seen in the entertainment industry. However, the entertainment industry is a very wide market. Lighting consoles can be seen in showrooms such as Cirque du Soleil shows, nightclubs big and small, stadiums and other music venues, middle schools, high schools, universities, churches, bars and restaurants, private events, conventions, the list goes on and on. Lighting is an essential part of many ambient experiences. Although this product wouldn't be as popular in the large live event setting given its limitations, it has the potential to be really popular in the other settings mentioned. There are some similar products out there such as ETC's dongle, software, and gadget combination which allows consumers to have control over DMX lighting fixtures from their PC laptops. Although a popular and streamlined product, it can be pretty expensive for the regular lighting technician. For the student, it can cost up to $250. However, if you're not a student, the package can cost up to $1,200. This would be fine for a well-established technician or a larger scale company, but for some of those who are intermediate or just need the smaller scale jobs done, it's a great chunk of money to spend. This product would be much cheaper than the regular ETC package. It would be all in one and still be able to form most of the same control functions. Another product that is similar is the Best Boy Pocket Console. The Pocket Console is a portable mini console that has 24 channels and 512 addresses. Each channel is controlled with a patchable fader. Although this is a very similar product, the cost of this product and other Best Boy mini consoles can cost up to $550 and only offer a few control parameters, which is the ability to control intensity and color. My device in practice is already better because it can control more than a couple of parameters of lighting fixtures and it will cost about half the price. Let's go over some of the basics of DMX. DMX stands for Digital Multiplexing, and 512 is the number of control slots available for transmission. DMX is used to control all sorts of gear and can send anything from 1 to 512 data slots using repetitive control. Each lighting fixture has a DMX input and output. It is a master-slave system where the lighting con console acts as the master, and each fixture acts as slaves to the console. Each fixture has its own address, which is a particular data link in the signal. Nowadays, 512 control slots isn't a lot of data, especially for larger shows. So shows using more than 512 slots need multiple DMX universes. 512 slots make up one universe. For my device, the components are the Raspberry Pi, which is the central system used to output power for the touch LCD screen, output USB to the DMX interface, and from the UART on the GPIO, and to hold the lighting control software being used, which is QLC+. The DMX interfaces output DMX signal to the chain of lighting fixtures, and from the Pi, software, and touchscreen, the user is able to control the fixtures and create lighting shows and ambiences. There are two issues I've been having to deal with with this project. The first being budget. The only solution I have to this is just to make sure I'm getting decent equipment for a good price. I want to make sure the price of my product is beating the competition while also remaining very functional. The second problem I'm facing is getting the Pi to communicate with DMX wirelessly. I have a few ideas on how to solve this issue. The most basic idea is to simply use DMX wireless transmitter hardware. It's not the most streamlined method, but it would work. The second method is to use the UART as a DMX transmitter. I researched that the Pi can be used as a pass-through from Wi-Fi to DMX. However, as I've been reading more about this, this doesn't seem like a wireless solution. It does seem like another way to transmit DMX with the bulkiness of the USB to DMX interface. Wireless systems in entertainment are not as common, especially in the live setting. They're not very dependent, so everything is meticulously routed and hidden. But I will try to make wireless a feature of the console anyway. So what's next for this project? I have most of my materials, but still need to purchase and gather some. 
A lot of the next steps are testing the methods for data transmission and making sure communication is smooth between the interfaces and the fixtures.